Hi there, I'm Abhishek Namdar from Keyframes Animation. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very very big renders in 3D Max. And uh, see if you see my screen, uh, it's a very good uh, nice Porsche car I've opened in 3D Max. It's a very very heavy file. Uh, still uh, we have to troubleshoot how to open these heavy files and as well we can work very easily in 3D Max. There are ways to work very easily in 3d max just we have to know that how it works so first of all you have to on the adaptive degradation uh, which is uh, when you rotate or when you orbit the viewport it uh, makes that mesh absolutely zero so and uh, where it is it's over here if you press o on your keyboard it's a shortcut of that press o and of course if you see this is a wireframe right now and uh, i'm pressing seven on my keyboard it shows me the total of polygons in some around so much of polygons so i'll just off it and uh, fine and first of all i'll go to display and i'll say control a and i'll say display to box so when i go to display to box what will happens see if you see there are no uh, more meshes right now it's only showing the mid display uh, as a box so when you uh, click on pan and when you click on pan see it's very easily uh, navigating in viewport still it's some around it's shaggy when i'm moving it at I, I can feel that shagginess it's not giving so much of response if i rotate it fast see it's not uh, following perfectly uh, to that my hand fine so the question is uh, how to make a very very big renders in 3d max so what i'll do is right now i'll now select this car and i'll say height selection right now and i'll make a stage for it because uh, in v-ray we need some reflections and you know some for real realistic renders we have to give bounce lights and as well as gi and ray trace as well so i'll go to line and it's my left viewport so i'll make a stage very big stage click over here this and this one I'll just drag this point down inside we can place a camera so I'm selecting all those points to give a smooth in fillet I'll make this smooth selecting the spline and I want some kind of thickness sometimes what will happen if I directly extrude this spline it will give me a slightly black shade when I render those so I don't want to take a chance uh, I'll select the spline and I'll give some nice thickness to my bounce plate what if I'll say extrude I'll go to perspective I'll just check it say unhide by name unhide unhide all I can see unhide, unhide all fine it's a huge car so what I'll do is I just scale my see there is one more question in this why I'm not manipulating my object like car because I don't want to um, tease the way because whenever I uh, scale it down or make it boolean or some kind of too heavy object it will react in a shutdown this result will um, uh, shut down my 3d max so uh, at this point uh, never touch your uh, high mesh uh, whatever the high mesh is set aside and just concentrate on your light mesh see it's really uh, giving me fast results either this or that it's a vice versa thing you can do it so I'll just rotate like this 
90 degree. So I'll place a car like this. Still I want big stage for it. No problem, we can do it that. Just increase my amount. Let's check my perspective. Still there is some shagginess in this, but if you see, see when I rotate it, uh, the heavier object is not seen. That's the uh, good thing of bounding box as well as degradation. When you can rotate like this and navigate, and when you stop it, your mesh is there. It's a magic of uh, degradation. Still, we have not in manipulated anything in mesh. Fine. So now I'll just check my boards where I can place the camera because there is little bit of uh, very less space. Selecting again my plate. Make it slightly up. go to vertex I want this area I should stretch a little bit more see I'm now receiving the you know collateral effect of that heavy mesh I can that feel when I am adjusting in uh, vertex mode it's telling me I am here just be careful so when you are doing with large files um, what I suggest and go to file save save as and make uh, many versions of that so you will not lose your work this is how the simple thing we follow so I'll just go and adjust this one it's giving me curvature I don't want it so what I can do I'll just select right click and say corner it's very good now absolutely and uh, fine from this much is fine slightly this guys should go more because I want more lights to be here fine I'll just place uh, uh, lights first and then I'll uh, set my camera now I'll say go to front viewport now again what I'll do is I'll select my mesh and I'll say again once again view on hide go to lights say V-ray V-ray light generally what people think V-ray is very much heavier I'll give you a uh, information on that but if you handle very properly uh, you, uh, actually we ray have a very holistic approach in uh, doing the work if you don't approach we ray very well you will get a very weird effect and you will have a very lot of time to render because 3d and we ray is all about the technical thing what we do it i'll just uh, remove this grid i don't want just place light one light over here now I'll just make a mirror I'll say copy say Y on my mirror can move like this or say like this so generally in product rendering and uh, fine absolutely product rendering not high res rendering the funda is same thing so in product rendering we have uh, generally main source of light there are three lights so in this condition um, uh, uh, car uh, rendering we have a little bit of shiny material and little bit of grains in that material that we can call as a flakes metallic flakes uh, um, in uh, metal kind of thing so i am using two lights and the three lights i am using over here so that will if that will get uh, some around bow kind of effect in lighting
to modify intensity 30 so i'll go and say 20 because i'm using a v-ray camera when you are using a v-ray camera the value you use for a intensity is very very large so when you use standard camera in 3d max you don't have to increase the 20 multiplier you can st stick for two or one so this is the uh, main thing i'll just say uh, invisible i don't want to see this light in my camera now i'll just unhide my elephant now unhide all yeah it's fine now what i have to do is i'll go to camera say v-ray camera v-ray physical camera the main thing about v-ray physical camera it's uh, very very realistic if you see we have uh, shutter speed we have uh, iso film speed iso film speed and vignetting and uh, the f number generally these parameters um, uh, when whenever the professional photographer takes uh, photos from his uh, professional uh, camera he always adjust the shutter speed and film uh, that iso speed and f number i'll come to that point once i'll place my camera i'll go to top i just press t on my keyboard just place uh, somewhere around over here like this See, when I am placing lights over here and here, that means uh, these lights play a main role because we want uh, uh, lights from left and right. And that's why I am placing a camera uh, from left side. And if you want the whole uh, object, then, then there is a different funda for this. I will press C on my keyboard. I am inside my camera. What I am seeing, that is a view of my camera. I'll just adjust my view. Just a little bit, I'll just zoom it. One thing we have to keep in mind that uh, if you select, see, it's uh, open over here. I don't want to see that so i'll just increase my tell you over here still you can't uh, do blindly on this uh, you can click on camera and say show safe frame this is what we are getting in my renders so i'll just increase till my camera ends just say it's fine still see i don't have seen uh, any of this uh, objects over here now what i'll do is i'll select this my car and i'll go to display i, I don't want this as a box and see the whole mesh is over here for for absolutely two minutes i'm seeing this one uh, in this case uh, i'm just adjusting my camera so why because i don't want to cut any of my objects see it's so much of so much heavy even i can't uh, handle this uh, large properly I'll just again I'll say display as box I don't want to operate more so in this uh, flooring I want to increase this one I'll just select it I'll go to left viewport again I want to press F3 for wireframe go to a front viewport sorry I'll go to modify say vertex selecting the vertex I'll increase the uh, flooring till yeah just again I'll go to camera now it's fine now I'll set my uh, resolution so in this tutorial I'll, I'm stopping this tutorial uh, over here in next part I'm showing how to set the very very high resolution in render 
uh, render setup and uh, yes we will do the render in next part and some kind of final touch of lighting so meet you in next part thank you